and see it. What, 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 what did you do? Hi, DGC! Today we are going to be making Raisin Canes! I hope you guys are doing good during this quarantine season. And I know it's hard and you can't always go out to have your favorite food. So, we're bringing you Raisin Canes from home. Let's get it. <laughs> so, we have our chicken breast here, as you can see right here and we have to cut them into pieces that resemble chicken tender so we're gonna get the first one and mommy how do you cut this <laughs> would you cut it long ways yeah like on the cutting board long ways like this yeah I cut the way and get the pieces right so I should cut it a little bit bigger than I want it yeah okay got you Back to action, y'all. You do gotta ask the parental guidance how to do it. That's all. So this is the first one. So as you can see here, we're cutting really big pieces of chicken. And the recipe does call for you to cut three to four slices of chicken per chicken breast. But even when we did that, they were still pretty big. Unless you want some extra large cane chicken fingers, I suggest cutting like five, at least five pieces from each chicken breast but it was still smacking though So here what we're doing is we're lining up each chicken strip alongside each other or lining up the pieces that can be aligned with each other. You know how there's some small pieces down there. And we're trying to make all the chicken strips even in size. So now that we've cut our chicken, we are now going to make the marinade for it to sit in for about two hours. Really two important. Hours. So cut the cameras. So now we're going to be making what the chicken is going to be marinated in. First off, we're going to need two cups of buttermilk. Next, we're going to need two eggs. And lastly, we're going to need one tablespoon of garlic powder. Whisk it! Whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, whisk it. Now whisk. in now um so he made the marinade as you can see and we're gonna be leaving this marinade and the chicken in the fridge for two hours this is key to make that juicy smacking great cane chicken all right let's get it you can cut the video <laughs> okay now we're gonna make the cane sauce the infamous cane sauce we're gonna attempt to do it but i'm gonna walk you through why is he holding that lemon? I'm gonna walk you through how to make the cane sauce. Let's go. So first you're gonna need one cup of mayonnaise. Oh. After you pour the two cups of mayonnaise, two, one cup of mayonnaise into this jar, you're going to need half a teaspoon half of a lemon. <laughs> half, half a cup of lemon half juice. A, teaspoon. a splash, but so you don't need it. Then we're going to have to put a splash of lemon juice. <laughs> Look how the... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
Now you have a half cup of um, half cup of this one. You need to do this first. So now you're gonna have to mix your salt, black pepper, and garlic powder, and you just pour it in. Can mix it all again. So before yeah. you we added more black pepper, we tried it, and to really get that smoky cane sauce taste, you really need to add a lot of black pepper and mm -hmm. then a little bit more mm -hmm. of salt, as my mom later told me in this video. Yo, the consistency though is scary. <laughs> I'm scared. This is actually turning out like cane sauce. What if it doesn't taste like cane sauce? That's gonna be scary. Doesn't it look, <gasps> you guys? That looks dead on like cane sauce. We just went to Kane's. This looks dead on like cane sauce. <laughs> look at this. Okay, once it's time. It's time. Do I taste it? Wait, you still got some mayonnaise going on over there. Don't forget the size, people. Don't mix it out of the container. Okay. Now, time to try it. Time, time to try. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys. We're missing something. We're okay, now we're going to you get your Worcester sauce. Don't forget that. What did it taste like before, was it? It tasted like ranch, and you don't want that. So, then you mix your Worcester sauce into your king sauce. I, 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 <laughs> I know it doesn't look um, that convincing right now, but uh, trust me, after you put your Worcestershire sauce, it changes the game. Go ahead and add a little bit more. Splash the lemon. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Maybe I got to. We have to taste it first before we add any it's like the smell. I'm scared that's going to taste like ranch again, and then that we're failed. We failed. So after um, some debate, we realized that when we follow the recipe to a T, it didn't taste like cane sauce. But you know, we had to call in the mom bear to come in. Mama bear has to come in and be like, "You need to add a little bit of salt. You need to add a little bit of this." And after a long-awaited time, after her mind, he's doing. He's exactly the same. No. So as seen here, we are substituting canola oil in place of pan cooking spray because we don't have any. But you see that Texas toast, we're using that Texas toast, aka Cane's bread, for the Cane's bread. And then we're also using Kroger crinkle cut fries, Kane's. not sponsored. What's Cane's without Texas toast? What's Cane's without the cane sauce? Which What's Cane's without chicken? Guys? So, um... If you don't have pan spray, it happens to use oil. I'm pretty sure if your mom or somebody knows how to this hack. Like, do you even need pan cooking spray? Like, is it just a taboo? Like, in case you burn food. So we're at Kings right now, and we're watching the behind the scenes of how they make their Texas toast. As you can see, this is from Kroger. There's a Kings employee right there wearing the Kings shirt. That's my And I'm pretty. So here he's going to begin the process of making the breaded coating for the chicken and he's going to be using two cups of flour, one cup seasoned breadcrumbs, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, which I don't even know why that was included. But if you want a more crispy chicken, I would use a little bit more flour, a little bit more breadcrumbs and a little bit less baking powder.
That's a well how, how to do this? You just stick the chicken in one here, side. And you put it back in there and then you do it again. And then you put it in here. What? Yeah. You gotta do it twice. Why? Because it's not enough um it's not enough flour when you do it all the time. When you just do it once. Okay. How do you know you're like in my phone away with the fire? Oh, she is Gucci. It's fine, you guys. I thought it was ready. I thought she was ready to go. Ooh, that one's really good. Okay. Okay. That that one right there. That one needs help. That one's. No, that one next to that uh, one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Did that one right there? Oh no. Your phone's running low on battery. Okay, turn it off and put it in the. So we tried to um fry it and I burnt it. I just threw it away, so you can't see it. So. We are not gonna bread the chicken, it's just in here, and we're gonna put it in this plate so we can continue breading our chicken so we can get this going. And now, because we're no longer talking, so we're being a so now we can add more of this chicken in the mix. Apparently, the master chef said the mix is not supposed to be looking like that. She's creamy. She stick on the mix. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Some more. This chicken is gonna mix. Look at that. Look at that chicken action. Yeah, look at that. Mm. There's a bad one around. Look at, look at that. Isn't that just amazing? So, this marks the end of our cooking show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys will find time to do it with your family during this quarantine season as maybe you can't always go to your favorite restaurant because it's closed or your parents said no. But um, in case you guys didn't see it before, <laughs> let me show it again. This is what it looks like. This Can we just run the B side? Can we run the montage? A quick note is that we did it on a stovetop because everybody has a stovetop and we'll be able to, if they wanted to, do this video or do this um, this challenge. But in actuality, it takes 20 minutes or like 15 minutes to fry 
your chicken fingers four chicken fingers um, and if you have a deep fryer I would recommend doing it that way instead and it'll take about three to four minutes or maybe five to six minutes depending on how crispy you like your chicken but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video the recipe and everything will be linked down below and if and you liked it um, like the video turn on post notifications and don't forget to subscribe thank you bye